Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today we're going through the changes on the Winter Festival compared to 2017. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more information of it is about Neverwinter, hit the subscribe button. To start this video off, there are actually not many changes compared to last year, but there's a couple of big ones that need some attention since it could be a bit confusing. The basis of this video is my video from last year, which I will link in the description below. And getting the maximum out of the event hasn't changed at all. Let me briefly show you, show you what's uh, where and still the same and afterwards I will show you all the change stuff. So this is still the map, the map is exactly the same as before. You can go there um, via travel, it's here. So you can go there. Uh, I think you need a tune above level 15, right? Yeah, above level 15. Uh, if your tune is above level 15, you still go to this guy, you get two quests. Um, I already did them, but star stuff is the one where you get your free star of the day and omens of the stars is where you get your free parcel of the day. And you um, get your uh, Zen voucher from this lady and the, the star you get again with the telescope. Here's the transmute fender. I think all the stuff in here is the same. Uh, still a lot of scarves, which I will get from gifting a lot. Uh, crate of black lad. I think that's also the same. No more transmutes. Uh, some mounts. Uh, the winter sled binds on pickup. This one binds on equip. Equip, equip. And this one binds on equip. So these four you could resell if you would want to. Uh, I don't think they go for much, but if you have these uh, lights left, you can use them there. Um, then there are still three events. We have this uh, sled event, which is exactly the same as last year. Oh, we still also have this um, vendor, the store, also exactly the same items, same prices, nothing has changed here. Um, then we have the monsters on ice which is still there and we have fishing which is still there but that's one of the big changes um, you can also still get the frozen demon sled up there and let me let me get to the change stuff because up until now everything is exactly the same uh, there are a couple of new things you can get well that's that's in you can go out and get the old sh uh, stuff in the Zen store, but it's super overpriced, so don't get that. If you want to get new stuff, you can get them for these stars. You get one for free every day, so you get a total of, I think, 21 or 22, maybe more. You can get more stars from gifting. You can also buy gifts uh, from stars if you need more gifts. Typically, if you don't have 20 uh, bags opened yet, I would suggest to get these first. Uh, but if you have leftover or you really want these items, you can buy these also for stars. First of all, you have the Twilight Yeti. Um, and I think this is really cool because this is not a companion. I think we already had a Yeti companion, uh, but now we also have a Yeti mount. And it's, it's a little bit expensive, so you need a lot of stars for it. It's not going to be a problem for me because I still have so much leftover from last year, but it will cost you 18 stars and it's really cool. Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to go for this one just for the looks. Second of all, uh, there's also a companion uh, and this companion binds on a quip, which is really cool. So that means you can buy it and then transfer it to another character. So you can um, farm these stars on a different character and just transfer it to your main where you want to use it. Or you can just pick them up and sell them. Um, these companions, the active bonus, uh, regen, crit and gold bonus, uh, regen and crit, not that interesting flat bonuses, but the percentage gold bonus might be pretty interesting, especially if you get it up to higher rank, maybe it gets a higher gold bonus. Uh, I've talked about this a little bit before, but gold is quite important and a gold bonus uh, build 
might actually become a thing. There are more things that give gold bonus like artifacts, uh, there's also gear that gives gold bonus, enchantments, so you can actually get a pretty decent gold bonus. There's also a boon, there are multiple boons actually. So making a gold bonus build, okay that's a tongue twister, it might actually become something relevant. So this this um, companion, this augment companion is actually not that bad. I, I think I will definitely get a couple of these uh, and I might actually make this gold uh, build someday and show it to you guys. So uh, these are the new rewards near the rest is the same as last year actually. Then we get actually to the big and last and only change. Uh, so this, this is going to be a short video I think. Um, fishing. Um, Last year, for the people who did it, uh, we grinded out this fishing rod. I made a video to explain how we made that, and what do you know, it snapped. Um, it's not usable anymore. But fear not, nothing is lost, just hear me out, we're going down here. So down here you can already see, if you participated last year, that this area is changed. There's now these big uh, ponds. Um, and the walking on here is very very tricky and actually if you fall in you you uh, you get stunned and you fall out uh, it's 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 supposed to be ice water so I guess you kind of pass out uh, anyway about your fishing rod um, so you cannot use the fishing rod anymore and what you can do with it if you have it from the last year is exchange it at this um, this NPC here in the corner. So that's what, what I'm going to do here and for this uh, rod you get 40 light clusters. Seems like a bad deal but yeah we, we cannot do anything with this rod anyway. So let's just do this. Um, so how are we going to fish here now? Um, yeah, actually these pawns use the uh, Somi fishing rod now and this character doesn't have it. Uh, so there is of course a way to get a fishing rod and that's where you can get it. You can get it here. You can get this maple fishing rod, a very simple one. And the cool thing is you can actually upgrade this one, a fishing rod. You can upgrade it here at this light crafter. So this is the guy who replaces the light crafting profession and that's also very nice because things don't take time anymore. Before it took time to uh, run your recipes, some things were up to a couple hours. I think the fishing rod upgrades took hours uh, and now you can do all this stuff instantly. So fishing rod upgrades are also here and they actually just use the previous fishing rod and some light clusters. So. All I did was exchange my fishing rod for 40 light clusters. I bought a new one for I think 16 copper, really cheap. And I'm going to use 60 light clusters and my fishing rod to make this one. And then I use 24 and the previous fishing rod to make this one. And there you go. You have the best Somi fishing rod. And I still have 10 light clusters left. I already had two, I think from previous year. And we still have light clusters yet left. If you don't have um, the old fishing rod, you can still go fishing with the simple one. You get these uh, light pots, I think it's called. Uh, with those you can uh, craft uh, here these uh, modes of light. And with modes of light you can create light clusters. And that's how you, you're going to upgrade it to the next levels. That, that's basically what you do. You, you make these modes of light and light clusters. You can also buy this stuff by the way because I think these are, yeah, these are unbound. So you can also buy these on the auction house. I think it's probably pretty cheap. Uh, light cluster. Huh, people are trying to get a good deal here, but they're going to drop in price. Definitely. Uh, anyway, very easy to get your fishing rod, especially if you did it last year. And now we get to the fishing part, because this works differently to Somi. 
uh, and also different to last year's fishing okay we're very laggy now uh, in Somi you jump in the water and, and, and a boat spawns your kayak and then you can fish okay my companion is trying to kill itself that's not a thing here because as we saw I will pass out I will be stunned and pass out you can see that guy's fishing there so how do we do this uh, there's also no interactable area here so I can also not interact so what's up actually this Somi fishing rod we can also put it on our belt hey okay if we now activate this rod we get into the Somi fishing um, sequence but yeah we don't have bait so that's that's one thing you can just walk out of it uh, I think the bait came from here right you can buy bait for for copper this wax worm you can also use light pots let's just make one of these and a couple of these just to show you guys um, most likely this is the simple uh, this is the basic bait this is the special bait so you get better rewards you can also um, probably also get sabiki rigs from fishing but I don't know yet for sure uh, candle fish yeah so there are some upgrades to fishing that you can get while fishing um, so let's go back to the fishing now we have bit oh I'm not allowed Let, let's, let's just walk uh, on the pier here like all the normal people uh, throw in a fishing rod press 4 put on bait let's put in the simple bait first and then we start fishing left click and at some point we will get a fish and I have to right click that's the default controls by the way so in the bottom the controls will light up now you can see I have to press right click and then I have to follow the instructions so now I have to press E Q E and you can see the bar is filling up R and when the bar is full you have to press 1 and then you get a fish so we have to press 4 again to start fishing oh no we didn't have to press 4 we just don't have bait anymore so now we have bait again let's do that again let's see if we can get something interesting this is actually very slow uh, I prefer the way of fishing from last year, but I can understand that they want to reuse this uh, mechanism. I don't think it was that easy to implement. Uh, another brown beam, let's do that again. I think this is our last simple bait that I bought. I just bought three, I think. And then we're going to go over to the um, better bait and see what we get there. Okay, again a uh, rank 1 result. You can see that in the start of the progress bar there's a, a 1 sign. It can also be a 2 or 3, probably also 4 and 5, I'm not sure, but in Somi you have up until 5. Do we still have, oh we still have simple bait. I thought we had 3. Let's just use what we have. Or um, after this round we're just going to the better bait. Because I want, oh, now we have a rank 3. You will notice that for a rank 3, the bar will uh, progress slower. Uh, so it takes you longer to do the sequences. And just press and hold for uh, the buttons here, by the way. So E and press and hold it. Q. Oh, damn. That was the wrong button. <laughs> Crap. Okay. Nobody saw that. Uh, okay, let's go back to the fishing. No, fishing in the face. I, I don't have any bait. Did I already use it? And now we're using the better bait. Let's throw in our fishing rod. There's even better bait. It's called Sabiki Rigs. You can buy them uh, on the Zen store, but you should be able to also fish them up. You can fish up uh, uh, these 
bags normally and at that point uh, there there can be loot in there oh we're doing a fishing that's also how you can get fishing um, pots I guess from the contests so let's not press W we just press and hold the key that's lighting up and then we press 1 okay next one ah a level 4 this should be interesting Yeah, this is why I'm making the video. I think a lot of people will just jump into the water. So here's where we get the light pots and other stuff from the events. So as you can see, a rank four is actually a lot harder to get. There we go. We got a camelfish. Okay. Previous year that was very easy to get this stuff. Takes so long now. It has gotten a lot slower and you can actually also just as last year well you should be able to fish up these uh, tokens that you can um, trade in for uh, companion companion uh, campaign stuff Um, we're just getting fish you can trade in fish for I think the light clusters or something no not light clusters anyway and that's all of the changes this year it's not much um, but I hope this will help you if you want to be doing this. Um, yeah, fishing has gotten a lot more tedious than last year, sadly. But it is what it is. It's uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's still very good to complete uh, campaigns, but it will still help a bit. Anyway, if you have any remarks on this video or any suggestions on what to investigate next, Feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.